Hello there! Do you want to learn how to use a GitHub action to deploy a GitHub repository to your own server? In this video, we will do exactly that. Basically, we will push a change to the GitHub repository and then pull this change on our server inside the GitHub action. This is a super simple way and might not be the perfect way to do it every time. And here's how you do it. On your server, you create a new user or use an existing one. Then check that this user has access to the directory containing the repository and is able to pull the repository. You then create a new SSH key using the SSH keygen utility. Add the public key to the authorized keys file and then copy the content of the private key file to your clipboard. You will need it in the next step. On the GitHub website, go to your repository, then go to settings, secrets, actions and add your SSH credentials, including your private key, SSH private key, the one that you copied before, the user, SSH user to access the server, the hostname or IP address of your server, SSH host, then the path to the directory containing the repository and the name of the main branch. Main branch. In most cases, this is main. Still on the GitHub website, go to the GitHub repository tab called Actions and click on Set up a workflow yourself. We will first define when to run the action. In this case, whenever a push to the main branch happens. Then we create a new job with the name run pull and set the image used to run that action. Now we add three new steps to the job. First, we install the SSH keys to access the server with the private key. We then connect to the server and pull the changes. And lastly, we do some cleanup. Now we try pushing some changes to the repository and see if the action works. And that's it. With this quick and easy guide, you're now able to use a GitHub action to deploy changes in your GitHub repository to your own server. If this video helped you, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask in the comments and I will try to answer them all. If this video was too simple for you, then check out this one where we use Docker to do the same thing just in a little bit more complex way. Thank you for watching and happy coding.